Hello everybody, and welcome back to Batman the Telltale series in the last episode. Um, Harvey became a terrorist, um, he blew up a whole city block in order to stop the children of Arkham, even though I doubt they would all just suddenly meet in one spot. Even if it is a city block, they're probably all over the city. Um, Vicky Vale, uh, well, she's nowhere to be seen. We know she's planning something though. Uh, Gordon, he's doing what he does best, uh, trying to keep shit together. Um, Alfred is in the Batcave, uh, just uh, hiding there uh, and because Harvey, you know, is burning down my mansion. Um, and we stopped the Penguin. He was being an asshole and so we uh, shoved his head up his own ass. I guess is one way of putting it. Just so that he sees how much of a shitty person he, he was being. He didn't care though. He didn't give up any information. He ain't no snitch. Whatever. Respect. In a way, I guess. Anyways, we're gonna get into episode 5, City of Light. The battle for control of Gotham intensifies, reaching a fevered pitch as Bruce discovers a renewed sense of purpose and Batman finds himself pushed to the limits in a des desperate effort to restore order. Alright, let's do this. Let's let's do this. We're ready. Y'all ready for this? All right, whatever. Oh yeah, previously on. Right. Uh, excuse me. That's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. Oh yeah, that. Selina, I think you should get out of Gotham. It's not just Harvey. The children of Arkham are after you. It's not safe right now. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Yeah, maniac. What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. That's what a leader does. Oh, you psycho! No, you can do whatever you want to me. But Lady Arkham's plans are already in motion. All right, let's get into it. <sighs> are we going to confront Harvey right away or are we going to wait till like the very end of the episode? I hope we confront him first just to have him, you know, stop being a dick or just shank him like we originally planned. Honestly, I knew he was going to turn into Two-Face, but I didn't think he would be such a dick about it. ...explosion Mayor Harvey Dent set off that obliterated an entire city block and killed innocents. When questioned about his extreme measures, Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Arkham. Yo, what happened? Gordon! You're done, Gordon! Give up your badge and we'll let you live! Meanwhile, his... Opponents are routinely silenced. The latest to speak out is Police oh. Commissioner Grogan. He called Dent a murderer and a terrorist and demanded his immediate resignation. In response, Dent's enforcers attempted to arrest Grogan, sparking violence inside the precinct. Are you serious? Are dark days in Gotham. Our mayor promised us a better city, but delivers only more violence. How long do we let this two-face stay in power? How long can we... Oh shit. You can't be in here. But, hey, you can't do this! Shut hey, up. let me go! Hey, hey, stop! Time's up! You should have known better, Gordon. Now we nail your tongue to the precinct door by order of City Hall. 
Just you try me. You punks. Yeah, you punks. All right. Let's get him. Get him, boy. Get him. Yeah. Throw him off the building. For being dicks. There you go. Just for that time, Batman. Mm-hmm. Mayor Dent's lost his goddamn mind. His enforcers have overrun the city. Apparently, our new mayor doesn't care much for dissent. He's ordered a purge of every honest cop we have left. Dent is a sick man. He needs to be stopped before he hurts anyone else. Well, maybe you can get him some therapy. After you stop him tearing the city apart. Yeah, that would be my first course of action, hopefully. Come on, the commissioner's still down there. Oh. Damn. M going on even though he got shot. Now that's Gordon right there. An OG. An OG gangsta pimp master. As discussed in the last episode. Gordon will forever have a special place in my wall on, sure of honor. Is. I have to be. Are you serious? Follow my a shootout. That is extreme as hell. Whoop. What? I. There you go. I'm pretty sure I pressed A, but I guess. <laughs> Headshot. They can't hold out much longer. <laughs> Headshot, I guess. Jesus. Warp. Get down here, boy. Oh, shit. Yeah, just shoot blindly like dumbasses. Super. Take a, take a little sleepy sleep on the floor. Oh shit, dude. Dude! Oh, you're- you're gonna get the mat- you, Sit down, boy! No! Fuck! Good! Good, Gordon. Good. Oh, come on! Stop it! Shit, man! Well, damn, you've gone from asshole to not asshole. God damn it. No. Not you two. He died a hero, giving his life for Gotha. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Now this... This is not your fault. It's a bastard, Dents. Krogan was a good man. A family man. Lieutenant Gordon! Gordon! Come in! S Sergeant Kelly! Report! It's the mayor! At Wayne Manor! He's got hostages. And he's killing them one by one until- Are you serious? Kill. He says- He says- Cops show up, he'll kill another. Batman shows up, he'll kill them all! Kelly! Get out of Sir, there! Sir, I'm- I'll let the coin decide! Kelly! Kelly! You fucking psychopath! Get yourself to a hospital, Lieutenant. He has gone off the deep end officially. Honestly, at this point, he deserves to be shanked. Alfred, are you safe? Yes, I'm barricaded in the Batcave. I heard gunshots, but then Harvey's men disabled the cameras. I have to face Harvey as Bruce Wayne. 
Otherwise, he'll just keep killing people. Perhaps going as Bruce could be an advantage. Even without the suit, you're a formidable opponent. I know the old heart. <sighs> if anyone can reach him, it's you. I don't think so, but whatever. We'll try. It's time to end this, Harvey. And then when we get in close, if it gives me an option to punch him, then I'll punch him. <sighs> Honestly. Dude's, like, five times more trouble than the actual bad guys. Like, what are you doing? Taking your pers personal bandetta way too far, man. One year ago. I want a safer Gotham. A Gotham where working people can raise their families. A fear of being robbed or stabbed or, or worse. Great job you're First, doing of that. I know I can make the city better. If only I could... Okay, I'll back you. Come on, Bruce. That joke is in poor taste. I'm serious, Harvey. I'll fund your campaign completely. I've lived in Gotham my whole life, and I've never seen an official I can believe in. Until you. Oh, thank you, Bruce. I, I, I promise I will not let you down. Well, you've let I'm me down. My mind. The only real question is this election or next. We'll let the coin decide. Indeed. Nice transition there. Hmm. Lucky. But someone has to die. Are you volunteering, Deborah? Your assistant? Dude! Harvey! Are you serious? Wait. About damn time. Snipers, two of them. Get the drones online. I'll see what I can do. I wasn't sure you'd come. You weaseled your way out of the death you deserve. Like a coward. I came to help my friend, Harvey. I don't want your help. I want you dead! That is the sickness talking. And I know you're in there somewhere, Harvey. <laughs> Wait. What am I saying? I've tried to fight it, Bruce, but I can't. Bruce, I only ever wanted to help Gotham. Yeah, whatever. I can't stop him. You can fight it. He's stronger than I am. I've known you a long time, Harvey. You are stronger than your demons. I could always count on your friendship, Bruce. Until what happened with Selina. This city needs to be purged of people like you! All of you! Traitors! Terrorists! Cops who don't take their mayor's oh. orders! Harvey, don't! This is the only way to clean up this cesspool! Cops who don't take their mayor's orders. No, please! Well, plenty of cops followed Mayor Hill's orders, and you disavowed them. Now that now that it's the reverse, you're being a fucker, aren't you? This is what happens to people who cross me, Wayne. You were the fiercest DA the city ever had. Someone who fought for people's dreams. So much for a safer Gotham. You're right. This isn't me. Go. Go. Get away. I would let them all go, but it's not up to me. Deborah, my not so faithful assistant. What'd she do? You've been feeding my enemies info since the start. <laughs> I swear Beg I Beg all you want, but it's not up to me. Your life, his life. Even my life. They all hinge on check. You have always known right from wrong. I am begging you. 
Okay, we're just gonna keep doing this little game. What did I do? What, what did he make me do? Now, Bruce! Stay back! Oh, God, please don't. Harvey, no more. No more? I'm just getting started! This is the only way to keep people in line. Come on. Harvey, no! This is not who you are. You once said you wanted a better Gotham. Is this what you had in mind? Oh, I wanted so much for this city, Bruce, but I failed. We were good friends once, Bruce. I'm glad you're here. At the end. Maybe you can remember me the way I was before. Before him. No! Bruce, I need... I need the result! Drop the damn coin! Holy shit! Without the coin, I can't... I, I can't... Make your own call. Bruce, please, I don't... I don't know what to... I can't decide. It's too much. It's too much, I can't... <laughs> A safer Gotham, Harvey. Just like you wanted. Damn. Dude can't decide anything without his coin. And a sad. It's all over for me. Yeah. You should have let me pull the trigger. You've done me and all of Gotham a favor. I still have hope for you, Harvey. You'll have the best doctors. Yeah. Sure, Bruce. No, they can't stop him. No one can stop him. Eh, uh, whatever. Let, let's go get Lady Arkham. Let's go kick her face in. Mr. Wayne. I owe you so much. You're a hero. And I'm gonna make sure all of Gotham knows it. Good! You should be rotting in Arkham! <laughs> Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love will burn. Good for you. You're gonna die before you see it happen. So what? Come at me, sucker. Damn, it's only been 18 minutes and we've already taken down Harvey. And saved the police station. Nice. Record time for Batman. Or at least Bruce Wayne in this case. Alright, who wants some? Who wants some? I'm gonna give you some. All right, what's Lady Arkham planning? We need to prepare for everything since we're Batman. Oh, oh shit. Drop my controller. Oh. Game takes so long to load. Can anyone stop Lady Arkham? Probably not, except for Batman. Your usual tea and the entire pantry, I'm afraid, didn't survive the fire. This is from my own personal supply. Thanks, Alfred. So Wayne Manor is officially all burnt down, eh? While Mayor Dent was in power. Well, at least you've ensured Harvey won't be hurting anyone else. That's something. Bruce, these last few weeks... I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. N not just the physical toll. The mental toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always <sighs> letting you down. I have you, OG. Whom you admire. My butler, pimp master. Oh, people. 
You've never disappointed me, Alfred. But I have. Eh. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. Well, I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. Right. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. What could you have done? She wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her. If I'd stopped Thomas. He would have had you killed. None of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham. Oswald. Even Harvey. Whose fault it is doesn't matter, Alfred. What does is that we stop them. Indeed. You're right, sir. The children of Arkham are still out there. And Lady Arkham. Give you a little motivation. There's Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board. She's the only remaining piece. Yeah, we're gonna we figure out her next We're gonna move. wreck that piece. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Hmm. Oh. Updated. You guys know what that means. Alright. Alright. So. The manor is in ruins, yet Alfred is untouched. The man is indestructible. I regret leaving my home undefended while I went after Oswald, but even with Alfred barricaded in the Batcave, he was still able to back me up in defeating Harvey. There's still a lot of complicated emotions for us to work out regarding my father, but right now, we need to focus on the problems ahead of us, indeed. Harvey Dent's long bloody campaign to save Gotham from itself ends not with a bang, but with a whimper. The friend I thought could work uh, the friend I thought could work a miracle in the mayor's office wound up a victim of himself, irrevocably broken on the floor just a few steps away from where I endorsed him on the, uh, to the voters. The tragedy, yes, but one that's finally reached its conclusion. Alright. Selina may have wanted out of Gotham, but she's still keeping an eye out for me. I appreciate her warning me about Harvey's vendetta, but a quick glance at the news these days would tell me the same thing. Hope she's happier and safer wherever she went. Yeah, me too. I thought I needed to stop Oswald. I put a priority on keeping my technology and my secrets safe, and because of that, I let Harvey Dent torch my home. Every action has its cost, but even crippled, I am I was able to bring them both to justice. So now I have to ask myself, can I do the same to Lady Arkham? Well, to be fair, to be fair, um, I feel like having the whole Batman network uh, hacked and exposed to the world is uh, less severe than having the house burnt down, seeing as how you can always replace the physical home by, you know, investing money in it. Uh, and you are a billionaire, Bruce, so, you know, that should be just fine. How strange to fight alongside Jim Gordon through the halls of the Gotham Police City he City Police Headquarters, goddammit. We've gone to battle together before, but I never experience expected we'd have to fight there. Even though he was wounded, I expect he'll make a full recovery. He has to. With Commissioner Grogan dead, someone has to step up to lead the police. Gordon is just the man to do it. Oh, is this where he becomes Lieutenant Gordon? Or not Lieutenant, Commissioner Gordon. I hope it is. Alright. Uh, now that her top lieutenant is out of the way, there's nothing to stand between me and putting a stop to Victoria's plans once and for all. But where is she? What is she planning next? There's a clock ticking right now and I need to figure out what she's doing and fast. Indeed. She's back on the force and I'm glad to see that. There's a lot of work ahead to get Gotham back on his feet and the more cops like her, the better. Indeed. Montoya... Montoya has become a good girl. Alright. Um, with Lucius, I truly have the best and brightest developing my arsenal. Now I just have to make sure we never allow it to fall into the wrong head hands again. Excuse me. Normally I take this responsibility entirely on myself. But I'm learning. I need Lucius to create these tools, and I need him. Uh, I need him to help me protect him. Yeah, hopefully he increases the security protocols. All right. Cool. Uh, anything else? Oh, Peter Grogan deceased. Uh, 
Uh, did he have a profile before? Hold on. As if my relationship with the police wasn't complicated enough, now I've got to contend with Lieutenant Gordon's boss. Usually the top brass stays out of the mess of day-to-day -day investigations, but this Grogan character seems intent on getting involved. More signs of Harvey's meddling? It seems like it to me. And then... The commissioner and I had our differences, but when things got serious, he proved to me that he was a good man. He saved me from getting killed inside the GCPD headquarters, but unfortunately it cost him his own life. This war against Lady Arkham and her corrupting influence has claimed too many lives already, and now the police lack a leader. I think Jim Gordon could do the job, but does he want it? He's probably going to want it in order to avenge his lieutenant. The Vale family. Vicky murdered her own foster parents in order to hide her supply of drugs. Seems cold and calculated on the surface. There's something about the brutality of the crime scene that still haunts me. That wasn't just a move to further her plans and goals, it was personal and it felt like revenge. Yeah, like gouging out their eyes. Jeez. Um, my city has been torn up and turned upside down, yet somehow its buildings still stand and its citizens still walk the streets, and one day, it will be free of fear. There is one last thing standing in its way, and her name is Lady Arkham. Nice. Alright. With Oswald out of the picture, I finally have control of Wayne Enterprises again. It's an unexpectedly good feeling. Not because I am missing the boardroom, but because I know no one else can be put in danger by my own technology. Alright, good. Wayne Tech, I suppose I should write Oswald a thank you note one day since he did such a masterful job of demonstrating just how vulnerable my technologies were to hacking. The problems have been noted and some of these oversights will never happen again. That is good. 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 You are learning from mistakes. Alright. Dozens fear dead in massive police offensive. Um... Julia Martins. Last, uh, late last night, downtown Gotham City shook from a massive firebomb detonated by M Mayor Harvey Dent's special enforcement unit as part of a assault on the Children of Arkham stronghold. At least 30 are uh, feared dead as an emergency crew used heavy equipment to dig for survivors in the rubble. The bomb also started a four-alarm fire the fire crews have yet to fully control. That is severe. According to Gotham City Police, Mayor Dent acted on his own authority when he ordered the attack. In fact, the GCPD only became aware of the blast when the 9-11 switchboard was overloaded with calls. Police Commissioner Grogan has yet to make a public statement, although anonymous sources say he, intend he intends to speak out against the mayor at the internal police event later today. The sounds of the explosion was heard up to three miles away and the residents reported broken windows up to ten blocks away from the blast. Damn. And also, wait till they find out that Commander, or uh, Lieutenant, Commander? Commander Grogan is dead. Don't remember the order in which it is. It's, uh, so it's Officer, Sergeant, or are those the same thing? Officer, Sergeant, Lieutenant, Commissioner, right? All right, Mayor Dent's seasons, uh, Seizes Wayne Estate by James Hagopian. In a shocking televised announcement, Mayor Harvey Dent announced a civil seizure on of the Wayne Manor in his state. According to the Dent, the seizure is necessary to help fund continued police actions against the children of Arkham, while also serving as a punitive measure against the Wayne family. Virtually every legal consultant contacted by the Gazette agrees that the, ma man, the mayor has no authority to take such unilateral measures, but experts disagree on how to stop the mayor. In recent weeks, scandal has surrounded the Wayne family with evidence and allegations ra uh, ranging from fraud and embezzlement all the way to kidnapping and perhaps even murder. Criminal and civil cases were expected to last years into the future, but according to Dent, the needs of Gotham can't wait for slow wheels of justice right now. Alright, so Wayne Enterprises CEO Cobblepot arrested by Thomas Aya. Oh yeah! <laughs> Thomas, oh yeah! Alright. Wayne Enterprises CEO Oswald Cabalpot was arrested by Gotham City Police after an altercation with the vigilante Batman at the Wayne Building in downtown Gotham City. According to the Wayne Insiders, Cabalpot had allegedly been using company resources to assist a terrorist group known as the Children of Arkham. Children of Arkham activity apparently led Batman to Wayne Enterprises, where Cabalpot complicitly was revealed. Cabalpot is being treated at the Gotham General where he remains under arrest. 
This morning, Wayne Enterprises released a statement to the press announcing that Cobblepot had been sacked by a unanimous, uh, unanimous vote of the Wayne board directors. It is widely believed that the board of at Wayne Enterprises originally named Cobblepot CEO as a move to salvage the public relations disaster following allegations of corruption against the previous CEO and Gotham billionaire Bruce Wayne. Well, yep, they indeed did that. Now uh, sack them for being idiots. GCPD Commissioner Murdered by the Mayor's Enforcers, Art Shadow. Oh, they already know. In the latest scandal to rock off from City, Mayor Harvey Dent's enforce enforcers fatally shot Police Commissioner Grogan. According to the reports, members of the Mayor's Enforcement Unit attempted to arrest the Commissioner following his demand for the Mayor's resignation. Gotham City Police intervened in the arrest, leading to a massive shootout between police and enforcers. Commissioner Grogan was fatally shot and at least a dozen other officers were ho hospitalized. Until recently, Commissioner Grogan had refused to comment on the Mayor Dent's militarization of his current forces. However, when Dent ordered the massive firebombing of a commercial building that led to the deaths of more than 30 innocent people, Grogan spoke out calling Dent a murderer and a terrorist. I agree. That is exactly what he was. Alright, now that that's all over and done with, hopefully people stop being an asshole to both Batman and Bruce Wayne. Alright, Lady Arkham file. Vicky Vale, mid-30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record, her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here, in the manor, she gave nothing away of her true nature then. Alright. Uh, the Gazette's me. records are the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're <laughs> right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Mm. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. Alright, so I might need to do that now. Hold on. So let's see what Oswald was up to first before we do that. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Good, now let's fire CEO everyone in the board of directors for being idiots. Chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can <laughs> we just see what he was doing? All right, surveillance. Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? It's not. Unless... Hold on. Hold on, security? What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. Oh, damn! If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. All right, records. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. Bruce. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in sociology. And my medical records. There are some, well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Ah, oh, that's better. Did he say I had an STD or something? No Damn surprise it. surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. And that they're all gonna be fired later. Yep. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. Good. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? Probably something important. 
All right, real estate. Was trying to buy an island. Was it Arkham Island? On Earth Four. Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it Falcone Island. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. Financial report. Uh, Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. And the board of directors did nothing about it because they were ignorant fools. All right, everything already, everything's already checked. Let's go back to Lady Arkham's thingy, my bob. So now that we know, we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to. There, no more holes. All right, interesting. Vicky Veo Wayne Tech. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums, all to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. She's gonna gas it all. Something. I swear. to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Okay. Speaking of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, it's one of Lucius's prototypes on the move. Oh! What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he needed a better lock. Selina. She stole from you? After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? <sighs> Whatever. She must have her reasons. She's probably trying to help out in her she own does. crooked way. Computer visual. The prototype she stole. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. Wait, how did she steal from me? That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands. Especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happened. I'm going to get some answers from Selina. Oh, did she steal it from me when she brought me to her home in order to help with the injuries after that major fight at the station?